oh man, there's so much to cover on this bike. Hopefully I can do it in the next, I only, I only budgeted for a 30 second video for this bike. So hopefully I can do it. I don't go over budget. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I make custom e-bikes. I take bikes, turn them into e-bikes. If you like that, check out my other videos. Subscribe, ding bells. Yeah, ding bell. That sounds like an insult. I really like this bike. This is a Surly Long Haul Trucker. I really like Surly as a brand. They make steel bikes. Other bikes are steel. And they're just... Go, go check out surlybikes.com. They're just... They're, they seem like they're my type of people. They're one of my favorite brands. I'd say like Kona and Surly. They kind of have that... I don't know. Surly is definitely their own thing though. This is the Long Haul Trucker. This one has rim brakes. They have different versions. This one's a little bit uh, older version of this bike. The price says is about 15, 20 years old, possibly. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's got wraparound handlebars, so it's nice and comfortable. It sits up pretty high. We put new grips on it. Unfortunately, it had cork grips on it, but taking removing cork grips and trying to put them back on is... You gotta... I don't know how you do it. I don't think you can. Maybe somebody out there can do it, like one of those restoration people. But we had to, I had to get rid of the cork grips, unfortunately, because cork grips are pretty cool. But we got some new grips on, which are just as good. It's got 700C. I think these are 700C. What are these? Well, they're 28 inch, 28 inch, which is essentially 700C wheels. Um, there's a front fender on here, but I didn't put it on because I'm going to be shipping this. Put mechanical brake cutoffs in here so these levers have mechanical brake cutoff built into them got a throttle here on the left side uh, this is really cool we added in the integrated brake headlight tail light turn signal light uh, it's also got a really really loud horn got a lot of neighbors here who work from home so i don't want to use it but it's cool it's got turn signals in the rear and it has a functional brake light so when you squeeze the brakes the brake light actually gets brighter which is pretty cool uh, they had a little mirror here. Next to it is a little toggle switch that, you know, messes with your pedal assist levels up and down. But the display went with the DPC-18. This is a really nice premium color display. One thing to note about the DPC-18 is that it does only have five levels of assist versus nine for the other ones. But it doesn't, it's not like you're losing any pedal assist. You just, instead of nine different levels between one and 100, you get five between one and 100. So instead of like 11% in between each one, you get 20% in between each one. So for some people, maybe that's a big deal. Like for me, I, only, I ride between, I end up only using maybe four different pedal assist levels. So for me, five is probably just fine. And you could always fine tune it by programming this, which is what I'm going to do with this because I found that pedal assist one was a little bit too much. So I'm going to dial down pedal assist one to make it a little bit more gradual. So you can see the headlight right here. This has got cantilever, uh, Tektro cantilever brakes. So this cable was right where I wanted to mount the headlight. So I had to make this little bracket here to kind of offset the light just a little tiny bit. You know, it's not ideal, but this is a custom build. So it's, you kind of have to, you gotta make some little gadgets here and there. Moving on down. So they had this chain guard already installed. So I was just able to repurpose it. I think it should be fine. I just had to, trim it and just smash it in between the uh, motor and the frame. I used a five millimeter Lecky spacer for the motor because this was a little bit bigger of a bottom bracket. I think this was like a 70, yeah, it was like a, close to, closer to a 73 than a 68. Uh, we got the gear shift sensor right here. And back here is the piece de resistance. It's a 52 volt, 22.4 amp hour battery. So it's, it's a huge, it's got LG 3500 cells in it. Um, it's just a huge battery. It's massive. It's over a kilowatt of, of battery capacity. So this thing is going to have a really long range. It's got really skinny tires, so it's already a really efficient. You also, there's the light back here and full fenders here. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out performance test and see how this performs. All right, so you can see 33 miles an hour, um, not terrible. You know, I figured, and depending, you know, you could probably get this up to 35, but you know, with rim brakes, I don't know, you don't wanna be pushing, you're not going for top speed, you wanna be safe. So I'm probably gonna gear this down so it's not like a top speed freak, and you know, the, the 
the lady who's riding this, she's not going for top speed. She's not trying to break land speed records. Just wants to make her commute a little bit easier and use this instead of getting her car. Um, and that's, I've actually had a chance to talk with this lady quite, quite a bit and definitely is one of my type of people. Wants to get rid of the car, wants to just go all in on e-bikes. So yeah, this is gonna be more for like a low speed, you know, commuter, maybe 10, 15 miles an hour, maybe, you know, 20, and this is fine for that. It's f totally safe, it's got lights, front and rear, super bright headlights, 600 lumen, it's got a brake light, turn signal, I mean, it's even got an auxiliary bell up here. Yeah, this is where it's at, guys. Um, the total cost on this one, you know, motors, you could go on my website and get the cost for everything, the lights are about 70 bucks, motor's about 450 plus the display is like 520 800 This is about 700 so You're looking at about 1500 bucks for this setup, plus labor. But, you know, if you were doing this yourself with this setup, you know, the big cost is the battery here. You could probably save two or 300 bucks, go with a smaller one, you know, so you could be out the door with this the light setup. Anyways, five, 1500 bucks for this one. A lot of you guys are asking me, like, how much do these builds cost? This one's about 1500 bucks for the parts. Yeah, all right, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Take it easy.